The Graduate School of Design is really a global school that brings together a lot of students, faculty, researchers from all over the world to work on important issues that affect the built environment. The Graduate School of Design is an institution that focuses on architecture, landscape architecture, urban design, urban planning, and other design-related fields. The thing that I always thought has been remarkable about the GSD is because it is such a diverse place, there are always new characters and actors entering the conversation. Like there's so many people from so many different backgrounds, so many different interests. One of my favorite things about this place is that you don't come here to really learn under one dominant school of thought. The school is about having ideas, it's about executing ideas, it's about choices. We live in surroundings that have been constructed by someone, but they had to have the idea first. We're an institution that teaches core disciplinary knowledge at the highest level in a context where there's also room and encouragement of invention. Combining both gives us the ability to, I think, engage ultimately with the world in a more innovative way. At the same time, we are, of course, committed to make a more beautiful world. Questions of visuality, ultimately the beauty of things. You are, you're also educating the next generation of students that would enable uh, buildings to be built much better. The very foundations of the Graduate School of Design have an international aspiration behind them. We are making more and more effort to also be in the world, not for the world just to come to Cambridge, which continues to be an important part of our project, but for the GSD to be in the world. We've had sponsor studios in, in Africa, in India, in South America. And this is what I love about the GSD. We are faculty that work on all sorts of problems at all sorts of scales with all sorts of methodologies in all parts of the world. It's apparent that the school is growing, and the school is growing also based on the challenges that we're being handed. There are today, of course, many complex issues that face us as a global society. One of them is really broadly the, the inequities that exist and their impact on everyday life. The second big issue today is really the question of risk. And as a school, part of our mission is really how do those uh, topics affect uh, the built environment and what is our responsibility in terms of addressing those things. I just want to see more designers in public service, but I want to see people use their creativity and I mean, artistry that they have here in this building that I see everywhere. I want to see that come down to the ground and work for for people. Every day is a reality check at the GSD. It's about looking at multiple ways of engaging with the built environment, the making of the built environment, but also multiple ways by which we can create the feedback loops that nourish our imaginations about the built environment.
force which animates design and the design school is the embrace of the world as it is. Chaos, tensions, oppositions, always imagining an optimistic and extraordinary and even possibly beautiful outcome. The dualism of the title, Grounded Visionaries, in some way um, is intended to speak of the tension that exists in, in many things that we do in life. These conditions that often are impossible to resolve fully. And the impossibility of resolution is something that becomes part of the productive condition. Grounded visionaries means to me that the GSD wants to sort of work in oppositional extreme ways. On the one hand, just wildly creative, disruptive research at the edge of practicality, and then flipping that around and being seriously practical and purposeful. A dreamer who is grounded, or a visionary who's grounded, is somebody who hasn't forgotten about the real world. A visionary that is able to recognize the constraints or the limitations of reality, the real world we live in, but not be, not really be limited by them.